Okay, Wednesday afternoon. I uh, have received a couple of odd messages from Australia Post today. First one uh, was this morning a text message telling me that I have a parcel awaiting delivery at the post office because some parcel of mine that was to be delivered to the parcel locker was somehow deemed unsuitable to be delivered to a parcel locker. I have no idea what or why because all I have on the way are a couple of Blu-rays, I think. Well, we all know that I've been able to pick up Blu-rays from the parcel locker in the past. That's a little bit odd to begin with and then also I got an email from them uh, detailing it once again but this time saying that uh, the parcel has wound up at the at the post office because I am not set up to receive parcels at a parcel locker. So I don't know what's going on. I'm lucky because today I actually started work early which means I've been able to leave work early which means I should be able to get to the post office because I close quite early uh, over this side of the world. Hopefully we'll be able to get to the post office and dust this out check out what's waiting for me and what's the hold up all right let's go check it out Okay, we've uh, made it into town with about half an hour to spare. We have really got no time to waste, so we're gonna walk down to the post office and uh, see what's going on. I got a text this morning. A parcel pick up, yeah. It said it wasn't eligible to be delivered. It's fine. All right, thank, thank you very much. Oh, all right. Oh. Okay, so I've been to the post office and that was it. A disc. Why that wasn't able to be delivered to my parcel locker? Uh, why this was ineligible to be delivered? I'm, I'm unsure. I asked him, I said, what was the problem? And the guy said, I have no idea because this would have fit in the parcel locker. He said, I have no idea. Contact customer service. Uh, look, I think this is probably the only thing I'm expecting this week. I wasn't expecting to receive anything at all. So if this is the only thing that I have received this week, then the next shot you will see will be me sitting in my office and I will be unboxing this for you guys. Uh, but if something else does come, you'll be seeing me up at the parcel locker. Which will it be? And yeah, that was all I received this week. One tiny little parcel. But that's okay, it's always good to take it easy for a week here and there. One little parcel open up, that's okay. That means we get a nice, quick and easy video. But before we do unbox this today, let me start by saying, G'day guys, Disney Dave coming at you once again from Down Under. And isn't this a gorgeous Saturday morning? Of course, it is AFL Grand Final Saturday here in Australia. For those of you not living in Australia, AFL is our Australian Football League. So we're talking Aussie football today. Uh, it is our grand final game, which is our major premiership uh, game of the year. It's just a magical feeling on grand final morning, even if your team's not playing for the cup, and my team certainly isn't playing for the cup today. So anyway, I hope everyone's having a great start to their weekend. Well, for those of us in Melbourne, we got a start to our weekend yesterday because the government decided to make the Friday before grand final day a public holiday here in Melbourne. Why not? But anyway, I hope everyone's having a good start to their weekend. Now let's get on to the unboxing. Now I rang OzPost uh, and I was trying to get to the bottom of the issue about why this went to the post office and not my locker box. They can't give me an answer. They said for some reason my account has become invalidated. They can't explain why. I'm guessing it's because this is a new service and maybe there's a few little kinks that they just need to sort out. I don't know, but I, I had to go through the process of validating my myself to the post locker box with ID and everything like that all over again. Hopefully it's all sorted because I've got a ton of packages coming in the mail right now. Uh, probably over this next week or two we'll be getting a bunch of packages in so I don't really want to be having to make the trip to the post office every single day because they close at five o'clock and I don't finish work until five o'clock most days and uh, if it's at the post office for more than three days it gets sent straight back and we don't want that happening to any of my parcels. So let's open this guy up. This is the only package for the week and it looks like it has come come from magicmagpie.co.uk I didn't order this from their website, I ordered this through their, their eBay uh, site. If you don't know what Music Magpie is, it's, it's basically a little company in the UK, sort of like our cash converters or savers here in Australia. Basically they will buy your old media, whether it be DVDs or Blu-rays or CDs or books or whatever, they'll pay you for it and then they'll on sale it for a profit for themselves. So you find them on eBay, their stuff usually comes in great condition. 
Edition. They apparently have this impeccable screening service where they only let the best stuff come through. I've ordered from them once before. I ordered a bunch of, I think they were uh, BBC uh, nature documentaries that I think were out of print. So I ordered them through Music Magpie. They were advertised as, as second hand but in good condition. One of them arrived in second hand condition. It was fairly decent, no scratch on the disc or anything. And the other couple arrived brand new in shrink wrap. So it's always worth taking a little risk with some of these places. Usually I buy brand new but in the, in the cases where maybe something is out of print or too expensive to buy and you can pick up for a couple of bucks on Music Magpie and you don't worry too much about it, it's, it's worth taking the risk. So let's open this up. Let's see if I've wound up with something that might have a bit of shrink wrap on it or just something that's in decent condition. I know what's in this and I'm very, very excited about it. So let's uh, crack this open and let you guys have a look. It is, of course, a Blu-ray from the UK. Strange thing is, it is an Australian movie. It's called Candy. Uh, this stars Heath Ledger and Abby Cornish, I believe, and uh, Jeffrey Rush. Uh, this is an Aussie movie, which I've just never got around to seeing. Apparently, it is incredible. I'm one of Heath's greatest performances. Heath is one of my favourite actors, and so is Jeffrey Rush, Australian icon. I'm just really excited to see this. Apparently, it's incredible. I was able to pick it up from Music Magpie, I think, for 6 or $7. Uh, I think it's out of print in the UK because I couldn't find it on Amazon But there were other sellers selling it brand new for like 18 19 dollars I thought I'll take a risk with music magpie and get the seven dollar disc uh, The case looks fine to me. It doesn't look incredibly like it's a second-hand disc It's got a couple of scuffs on there, but that's just shelf wear that's bound to happen So that's perfectly fine. This looks good and the strange thing is it's in one of those US Slimline cases there, which is very interesting But always good because that saves a little bit of space this was never released on Blu-ray in Australia. Don't know why, but I was happy I was able to pick this up uh, uh, online from the UK. Uh, let's take a look at the disc. That looks okay. There's a couple of a couple of minor little not that you can see, but there's a couple of minor little blemishes in there. But I don't think that's anything that's gonna I don't think that's anything that's gonna stop me from actually being able to play this disc. So that's perfectly fine. I'm perfectly happy with that for seven bucks. It arrived in. Uh, in about two weeks, I think. I'm gonna plug these guys down the bottom because I'm impressed with their service, Music Magpie. Uh, they have a website, they have an eBay account. Go through the eBay because it's always just safer to go through eBay and uh, it makes it easier if you're importing uh, to Australia or to wherever else from the UK. They have my uh, seal of approval. But anyway, uh, let's get into the housekeeping stuff. That was a quick and easy unboxing. Again, not a lot to say this week. Apologies, uh, this past week was a very uh, short week. I only had, uh, what, three videos up. As as I said last week, I'm working on a private commission at the moment, so that's taking away a lot of time. And then uh, on the other hand, I'm also trying to work on other little things like behind the classics, top 10 lists, all that stuff. So I've got a lot on my plate right now, and that just means that the videos are uh, scaled down a little bit. I think this coming week's gonna be the same. I'm gonna be working on this private commission fairly heavily over the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna try and not let that uh, in impact the channel too much, but sometimes it's just only so much you can work on, especially when I'm working in between. This week coming up, uh, we're gonna have another Blu-ray uh, update video on Monday, of course. We're rounding out the Blu-ray collection though. Uh, this week's is classics, so I go through all of my classic movies and then after that there's probably only going to be maybe two or three more weeks and then after that we're going to be doing like blu-ray update videos every month i'm going to do a video of just all the blu-rays i picked up in that month a couple of people actually asked me will this blu-ray collection series impact my disney blu-ray collection series or am i going to amalgamate them both into one series or are they going to remain separate let me tell you they are going to remain separate so the disney blu-ray collection videos will remain their own beast and then the regular blu-ray collection videos will be their own thing as well. So there'll be a couple of different series running at once. Other than that, to be honest, I'm not too sure what else uh, I'm gonna have up this week. I'm gonna try and have a couple of videos up at least. I am trying to work on some things, so there will be there will be content this week. Question I do want to put out to you guys though, uh, what kind of content do you guys want to see over the next few weeks? Like collection videos, and a lot of people have been asking for a Hot Toys collection video, a Funko Pop vinyl uh, collection video. So I think I'm certainly gonna be getting to them very, very soon. But one of the kind of things do you guys want to see out there? Let me know down in the comments below. 
what kind of what kind of videos do you want to see? Collection videos? Do you want to see more sort of documentary things? Want to see me working on more of that kind of stuff? Or any brand new ideas you can come up with? Let me know down in the comments below, and uh, and we'll, we'll try and get to some cool stuff. Other than that, guys, uh, oh, I think that's it, and it means you guys can all get back to your grand final Saturday uh, to enjoy the big game if you're going to be watching it, and to everyone else who's not watching it or is on the other side of the world, uh, you can just get a kickstart to your weekend. So I'm going to sign out now. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my grand final day. I'm looking forward to the game. And yeah, look, uh, if you're a first time viewer to my channel, somehow this is the first video of mine you've stumbled across, you've liked what you've seen, you want to see some more, please, after the jump, give me some support and hit subscribe. To all my regular viewers out there, thank you once again for joining me. To absolutely everybody out there, I hope I'll see you again soon. Until next time though, guys, take care and I hope you have a magical weekend.